kimba don hana manina hauto pashand eke mane ore na mani e matabhand it would be better to be an atheist by slighting both brothers than a hypocrite by believing in one and slighting the other kurahaya bamshi bangi chali ramadas tatkali amar bratara haila sarva nash thus Sri Ramdas broke his flute in anger and went away. And at that time, my brother fell down. This concludes the first part of the story of Sri Miniketan Ramdas. That here we have two unfortunate fellows here. Sri Gunarnava Mishra, the family pujari for Krishna's Kaviraj, and then his own brother, Krishna's Kaviraj's own brother, who, although he accepted Lord Chaitanya, didn't accept Lord Nityananda. So the pure devotee of Lord Nityananda and Balaram, Miniketan Ramdas, he was not very happy. He was already unhappy in his mind. We heard that in a few verses. That uh, Dukamane, Dukamane, Krishna's Kaviraj says that Miniketan Ramdas was unhappy in his mind. So it takes one to know one. You can know the heart of another if you have the same heart. So Krishna's Kaviraj, he was one with the heart of Miniketan Ramdas. So he could understand. That's why he's writing. His mind was unhappy. Because how do you know what my, what's going on in my mind unless you're identifying with me? So Krishna's Kaviraj, he understood. Oh, my brother is sitting here. My brother is sitting here. And my great friend here, Miniketan Ramdas, is sitting here. But I see that my friend, Miniketan, is unhappy with the mentality and thinking of my brother. Dukaman. So, first there's, there is ideas and thinking, then there's action. So, from this Dukaman, from this unhappiness of Miniketan Ramdas, then what did he do? What did Miniketan Ramdas do? Because he was unhappy. He broke his flute. He bl- broke his flute and went away. So, this is a rather sad note that. Miniketan Ramdas. But actually, although this story of Miniketan Ramdas has a somewhat sad ending, that he went away unhappy, he broke his flute, and he was, and he was, his Ishtadev was offended. He himself, first he himself was offended by Gunarnava Mishra, the Brahmin, doing the puja for Krishna's Kaviraj. So he was offended, right? And then, his Ishta was offended, because Krishna's Kaviraj's own brother offended Nityananda, because he accepted Chaitanya, but not Nityananda. So now, how much unhappy? First he says, okay, I came here and Gunardava Mishra offended me. Okay, I don't mind. And he danced. We read the verses. He, he danced. Nache, Nache Gaya. He danced and sang to his heart's content. Okay, you can offend me. I don't mind. I'm a devotee. Tree not a piece of nature. Totally like a tree. I tolerate. You offend me. But if you offend my Lord, then I become unhappy. Because he saw, so the first person he meets is Gunardava Mishra. So he offends. He offended me. He offended Miniketan Ram. But he said, "Okay, water on a duck's back. It's okay. The water goes off." And he kept dancing, absorbed in his own bhavas and ecstasies. It didn't affect him. But then he was still staying there in the house of Krishna's Kaviraj. And then he met his brother. And his brother was had faith, had Vishwas, Chaitanya Vishwas, faith in Lord Chaitanya, but not in Nityananda. So then Miniketan was dukamana. It says he was unhappy in his mind. And then. Krishna's Kaviraj, he, he rebuked his brother. He said, why? How, they're like Ekatanu. They're one body. This Duibai, Duibai Ekatanu. These two brothers are like one body. Chaitanya and Nityananda, they're like Ekatma Duideha. They're like one. How can you have faith in Chaitanya? This is not very good. So now, Miniketan Ram was sitting there. He was unhappy. And, now he, and then he saw the mentality. He said, oh, this brother of Krishna's Kaviraj is offending my Nittai. He doesn't have faith. He doesn't accept my Nittai. So then he, he took his flute and broke his flute and he went away. So he became affected. When he was offended, he was not affected. But when his Lord, his Ishta was affected, I mean, excuse me, uh, offended, he became affected. He became his Dukamana. His mind became unhappy. His mind was not unhappy when somebody offended, when offended him. Right? They say, what did Jesus say in the Bible? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can never hurt me. So, he was happy mood. His mood was, his mood was, there's no mood shift. There was no mood shift. He didn't change his mood when he was offended. He was like, okay, he just danced. He was happy. 
But when his when his Lord was offended, he, his mind, oh, my Lord is offended. This 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 place is not good. And so what what are we told in Shastra? If someone offend is offending your guru or your Lord, what should you do? Leave immediately or kill the guy. <laughs> Must be an American, right? Kill the guy. <laughs> they don't fool around. They first kill him, then maybe leave. <laughs> Americans like just finish. Let's just finish it once and for all. We don't just drop bombs on the head and forget about the rest. So this is that's what's told. And either you you keep him from making any more offenses, <laughs> or you leave the place. So here we find the ideal Vaishnava behavior of Minaketan Ramdas. He immediately left. He broke his flute and he left. So this is the story of Minaketan Ram. So we'll continue tomorrow with, with so this has rather so scene one, here's the drama. Leela means drama. And there's actors, there's players, there's a message, there's moral, but it's transcendental because it's the subject matter, the Visha and the Ashray. So now the the curtains close. Doom. And we feel some sadness. Oh Minaketan broke his flute. You know, you can imagine seeing the drama. He's, he's unhappy. He broke his flute, which is very dear to him. You, you, like you're, say you're a musician, and you break your guitar. <laughs> you know, you sit in the park every day and you sing, and everybody gathers around, and, they, and you have so much friendship. And your guitar is your means of expressing your love and friendship, and everyone comes together. And you take the thing and you break it. That's pretty significant, isn't it? To try to enter enter the the feelings of the of the lila of the drama, identify with the players and the action, and learn the message. Hopefully. So it's very, the curtains close, it's so sad, it's an unhappy ending. These two, Gunarnava Mishra and his, Krishna's Kaviraj, his brother, and he goes away unhappy. So it's a, definitely an unhappy ending. But then tomorrow the curtains will open. Act two. And act two is a very happy ending. So we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, he's because uh, Krishna. That's a very nice point because Krishna's Kaviraj is a master writer and a master dramatist, so he's creating suspense, and uh, because he knows everything about drama and naya and everything, so he's he's bringing all that out to us. So uh, <laughs> this is the uh, now.